Selenium Web Driver launches a browser with default size, which you can see on my screen. If I open any website on this sized window, then that application will auto adjust their content based on this size. For example, if I open YouTube, then you can see we are able to see only two options or two video sessions in a row. And also we have some compact way of controls given at left hand side. If I maximize this window, then we can see it is showing you three video sessions in a row and also left hand side we have detailed control view. When we automate using Selenium, then it is advisable to maximize the window to avoid the flaky test. Whatever size you see now, this is maximized size, but you can set the different sizes as well. If you mouse over on the second option here, you can see different sizes it is showing. If you select the third one, then my browser will be moved to left side in half of it. Select it, you can see it has been resized. Same thing we can achieve in Selenium as well. So in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how can we set the size of windows using Selenium WebDriver. In this class, I have already created an object of Chrome driver so that it will launch a Chrome browser for me. And if I run this program, it is going to launch Chrome browser with default size, which is not maximized one. You can see this is the default size. I don't want this size. I want to maximize it. I need the browser with this much size. For that, we have methods to do that. So choose the Chrome driver object. And here we have a method called manage. This manage method returns you a reference of options. So let me call this manage method and store into options. And you can see options is also coming from Selenium library. So use options, give the object name options. And now import the options. What is this? WebDriver.options. So we have an interface called WebDriver in Selenium. And Inside this web driver, we have inner interface. This is outer interface. Within this web driver interface, we have multiple interfaces. If you come down, you can see one interface, we have window. Another interface, we have navigation. Then we have target locator. Similarly, we have timeouts. One more I will have, which is options. That's why when I am trying to store the return value of this method into option, so the type of the difference will be webdriver.options, where webdriver will be auto interface and options will be inner interface. Now let's see what are the methods coming in options interface. Use the options dot and here we have one method called window and you can see the return type of is window and again window is the inner interface of webdriver interface. So if I try to store the value of this method into window, it will be actually webdriver.window. Let me give the object name. Now we have object difference of window. So call the window dot. Here we have one method called maximize and the return type of this method is white. Let me quickly run this method and show you whether I'm able to maximize the window or not. So here you can see window is maximized. It was open with the default size, but later it was maximized. So to maximize the window, we have written three lines, but this is not required. So let's try to reduce the number of lines here. This window difference where we are calling the maximize method. Can we directly use this one instead of storing it separately and then calling the method? So let's copy it and paste it directly. So I will not require this whole statement. Similarly, this options can be replaced with this. So copy this and paste it here. Now I can comment this line as well. And whatever we have done here, this is called method chaining. If I run this program, it will work perfectly fine. Let me run show you. So you can see here browser was maximized. Let me close the browser. We can also minimize the browser. And when we minimize the browser, execution will not be impacted. That might be useful when you are running some scripts in local, but if you want to perform some other actions as well, like other tasks, then you can run the script, minimize the window and do your other task. To minimize the window, 
that is also very simple we have another simple method this much statement will be same and then we have method called minimize the return type of this minimize is again void so let me run this program so this time it will maximize the window then it will minimize as well just to show you in better way i am going to add a sleep of two seconds let me add throws into the method signature let me run this program So you should have seen that window was maximized first, then it was minimized. That minimized window is here. So let me close this browser. Now you don't want to maximize the window, but you want to set the different size. For that also we have methods. But before I maximize or minimize or set the size, I'm going to get the default size of the window in pixels. So I'm going to comment these methods as of now. And when this statement will be executed, it will launch the Chrome in default size. I want to get the default height and width of Chrome browser. For that, we need to use the same line till window and we have a method called get size and the return type of this get size method is dimension. So let me store into dimension and from this dimension object, I can get the height and width. So let me use the sysout and here use the size object dot get width and get height. Let me run this program and show you what is the default width and height of the window in pixels. If I close this browser, you can see the default width is 1051 and height is 798. These values are in pixels. To set the required height and width, we need to first create an object of dimension class using dimension, dimension equal to new dimension and constructor of this dimension class requires width and height which I want to set. So let me use width as 1100 and height I want to give 900. So here just we have created the dimension of expected height and width. Now I need to use chrome driver dot manage dot window and we have one method called set size and here I need to pass the dimension object which we have already created above. Let me run but before that again I am going to use thread dot slip so that you can clearly see it. So I am going to run it. So this is the default size and now you can see it was resized. We also have one option to do full screen. So what is the difference between maximize and full screen. If I open my Chrome browser, this is actually maximize window. If I want to do full screen, then press function F11. So you can see window is full screen now. We don't see anything related to Chrome browser. To exit from full screen, again press function F11. So it will be your maximized one. So there is difference between maximized and full screen. So if you want to full screen your window, then instead of maximize method, you just need to call full screen. So let me copy and paste here. Just call full screen. Let me run and show you. So this is the default size. Now you can see it was full screen. We also have one method to get the coordinates of your browser. We have x axis minus x, y minus y, right? First quadrant, second quadrant, third and fourth. And first will be like plus plus, then it will go minus plus, minus minus, something like that, right? you must have seen in your mathematics. So I'm going to comment all these codes and I want to get the coordinates of browser when it is launched. So use again chrome driver dot manage dot window dot get positions. And you can see the return type of this positions method is point. So let me store into a variable of type point and use the sysout. You can use position dot get x then sysout position dot get y. Let me run and show you the values it is returning. Let me close the browser and you can see it is returning 9, 9. But this git position will be helpful for some wave element which we will see in upcoming videos. But with respect of windows, it is not that much useful. So similar to get size and set size, we can also set the position. For that, we need to create an object of point class. So point, point equal to new point and we need to pass the x and y so let me pass 10 and pass the y coordinate in minus maybe minus 5 and use chrome driver dot manage dot window dot set position and pass the point object let me run this program and see how it is setting the pointers
here you can see window was moved little bit up so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone